But now let's talk about your hydration, okay? So here's our hydration pyramid. The least amount is up top. We want to consume more at the bottom. So we start here with soda. Soda, no nutritional value whatsoever. So this encompasses soda, diet soda. At the top, very little. And by the way... I wouldn't even put it on the pyramid, personally. Well, some people are going to drink it. We've got to be realistic. All people right. drink soda. I mean, you know, much to my chagrin, but it happens. But Curtis asked me before, is this all in one day? <laughs> I said, well, if you have a big bathroom, uh, this would be. Uh, so, uh, so the next are sports drinks. People say, why sports drinks? Yeah. You know, sports drinks can be high in calories and high in sugar. Mm. So you need sports drinks during certain times for certain exercises. But in general, the average person who is not working out a lot, sports drinks are not your friends. OK, alcohol, uh, this is our red wine. Uh, has a lot of resveratrol, which is antioxidants, very good for you. But uh, not three quarts. Not three quarts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then our coffee, you know, I'm not a coffee drinker. A lot of people are coffee drinkers, right? You drink I coffee? am in the morning. In the morning. Just in the morning. It kind of gets me going yes, in, in yeah. the morning. The rest of the day, I drink um, rubies. I drink uh, no caffeine tea, an herbal tea. And then we're going to get to that. So uh, the caffeine is kind of high in coffee. Too much caffeine is not good for you. So you can have some, but don't go crazy. Now, people always talk about juice. Well, isn't juice bad for you? No, juice is not bad for you. It doesn't have sugar, yes, but just, just don't look at the sugar. Look at the sugar package. It mm. comes with phytonutrients, vitamins, and minerals. So yes, there is sugar in juice, but it's natural sugar with other natural But again, be careful components. you're not buying, you know, fruit drinks That's as right. opposed to juice. Right, yeah. or make That's it right. yourself. Right. There you go. Okay, our milk, all kinds of milk. Dairy's good for you. This idea that dairy is bad for you, some people can't tolerate certain types of dairy. That's okay. But calcium and vitamin D, protein and dairy products. So we encompassed everything, soy milk, almond milk, regular milk, low-fat milk, you name it, uh, depending on what milk is good for you. Even goat's milk. My kid needed goat's milk when goat's he was a milk. kid because yeah, yeah. He, had, he had an allergy. Now we get to your decaf tea here. Okay. Oh, that's what I drink all day. What you drink all day? It kind of calms me down, keeps my hands warm. It's very cold in our studio, which these poor people know. <laughs> yeah, and very soothing. Uh, and then lastly, our water here. Of course, water should be the most of anything you drink all day long. Now, that's where you, you're, you're getting better. And that's why, come on over here, yes. guys. Come on, I got something for you. We had another gonna, graphic about water, too, right? Um, yeah, so before you work out, about one or two hours before your workout, you need to hydrate your muscles and soft tissues. About 15 to 20 ounces. Remember, eight ounces is considered okay. to be a cup, so about two to three cups of water. Right before you work out, and people forget this, just because you're drinking one or two hours before, 15 minutes before you work out, you should also be drinking uh, your water. And so that represents here uh, about eight to 10 ounces right before the workout. So then while you're working out, about eight ounces, yeah. six to eight ounces about every I 15 minutes. I keep it right with me on the whatever I'm on. During your workout, exactly. Mm -hmm. So after mm -hmm. your workout, it's about 16 to 20 ounces for every pound that you've lost during the workout. So a couple of cups afterward, about 30 minutes, within 30 minutes of working out to rehydrate yourself. A lot of water. You don't like water at all, well, but you've come a long way since I, I have. Know you. And I want to show you. He has, he's come a long way. And this is a great tip for I people who show think you they don't like water. How I have rehabbed myself on the Rachel Ray show, okay? So what I do is I have this big container in my refrigerator and I put fruit in there. Mm -hmm. I put oranges sometimes in there and I let it just soak and immerse and get some flavor. And then in the morning, I just load up my little. Like and tastes all fruity and delicious. All right, and I'm all set. Huh? Yes!